Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I am using this new deck. It is the Everyday Witch. Very small deck. Easy in the hands. Thought I'd give it a go. I got it off eBay. A cheap deck. Thought it could be fun pulling out the witches to do a spread on uh, Charles and Edward. Find out what the rift is between them. Uh, title hasn't been transferred to Edward. He seems to be getting very irritated with his brother. Um, and um, so, yeah, that's what people are saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did, when I was shuffling with off-camera, because I do this before I turn on the camera, uh, I did pull, get the uh, secrets being revealed. So I'm thinking there was a lot, a little bit of tattletelling going on in youth. Yeah, it could be childhood wounds. So... Let's find out what's going on between the rift between the two of them. Well, I will take that one because it's all the way sitting over there and it is right here. We have Ace of Pentacles. So for starters, it's looking like, and I'm gonna put this off to the side, uh, it's new enterprise proposition. So that's what this is all about. It is about new enterprise and propositions, trying to start something new, that spark, that light bulb, with money and material goods and that's kind of basically what it's seems to be about it seems to be some kind of money conflict i would say a decision factor a, a spark an idea of what to do next apparently there must be butting heads um at the bottom of the deck i have here justice so yes cause and effect so that would say the cause and effect of the situation of the spark new idea of probably what to do with some of the purse strings and what's happening. So now I'm going to cut the deck. And let's see. We've got the first card, the challenging position, the focal point, the hidden energy, the past, the future. And then I'm going to hold back on the others because it'll probably get bumped. Okay, so what I have here is the first two cards here. The first the first one's in reverse, and it is the Seven of Swords in reverse. So there's been some dishonesty. Uh-oh. It's looking like dishonesty and having to fess up, uh, being caught and making amends, apologizing. So that seems to be the, the focal point here, the present position. So someone feels like something's definitely not fair, just lack of fairness here. Uh, sword energy being down is feeling it's kind of cruel. Uh, the seven of swords represents guilt. There's a lot of guilt here. Uh, and wanting to release that guilt in this position because it's, it's basically a punishment position. And it's, you know, it's not the time to be aggressive, it's time to apologize in this position. So that is that. And then we have here the two of swords here. And there's time to make a decision what to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, and be clear and concise in that decision. Uh, with two of swords, there tends to be a lot of indecision, though, and that's the problem. Refusing to look at the situation, refusing to come to an agreement, refusing to look at the situation uh, because they need to hit a bullseye. They can't fail. Uh, they need to win. They need to get it right. So there's this, there's this hesitation, uh, stress, anxiety with the decision is how I feel about that. So stress and anxiety, there's been some problems in the past. Got to hit a bullseye. Got to get it right. You know, then we have the crow there. The crow is all about wisdom, you know, and getting it right. The, wiz the crow is there trying to tell him which direction to go. Uh, in essence. And then we have here, you know, and that crow is just balancing. They're saying, hey, I've got the answer and I've got the balancing solution here. Can't you see what I'm saying? Trying to tell the witch how to hit the bullseye. Uh, and so that's how that kind of feels right there. And then the, um, the, the focal point is they're sort of tied up here. You know, it's like a self-imposed prison here uh, with the eight of swords. And so it's, it is self-sabotage card. Um, and you know, not, not seeing the problems right now clearly. And so it is self-sabotage to hold back is self-sabotaging because you got to get the solution done. You got to hit the bullseye. You need to make the crow say, come on, I got the wisdom here. I'm trying to psychically tell you and intuitively tell you which direction to go, but you're not listening to me. Uh, the crow's kind of getting frustrated in that card. 
And then we have here under the surface, the hidden energy is the Four of Cups, which is really very a displeasure. This guy's really under a lot of stress. And then you got the younger individual saying, hey, I got my emotions here. I'm ready to receive what you want to tell me. And uh, so this it's just not really wanting to come to an agreement or a decision. There's this, this um, stalling energy with Four of Cups. Everything's sort of stalled, uh, not feeling emotionally fulfilled very discontented and just stressed out. I see that as being Charles with his head in his hand. And then I see Edward saying, but but where's my cup? Where's my cup to fill? Are, aren't you going to do it for me? Come on. I've been waiting patiently. Please fill my cup. And and Charles going, I, I'm not ready for this right now. I'm just not ready. I'm not, I'm, I'm just not ready to make a decision right now. It's how that feels. And then this position here is the fifth position is the past. The past was the high priestess. Lots of secrets, hidden knowledge. So maybe he doesn't want to share the hidden knowledge. He doesn't want to share what he knows, keeping it to himself, that hidden knowledge. Uh, the high priestess keeps a lot of higher self-knowledge to themselves. Uh, as you can see, this one's she's definitely throwing some cards down and seeing the future. And I, maybe he wants to keep his future visions to himself, doesn't want to share his future visions uh, with uh, his brother. And that could be it. He just wants to keep the ideas to himself, I would say. And then the future for the situation that's in reverse is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So that very well um, could be just not wanting... wanting um, Edward to be the rising phoenix, doesn't want him to rise above him. So it's kind of competition because the queen of wands is the rising phoenix card. Uh, I think probably Edward has a real reputation of generosity and warmth. And, you know, he's, he's put in a lot of time. He really has shown his worth. He's afraid that he's going to rise up above him. So I say, this is not wanting him to rise up above him. So there's this competition between the brothers. Seventh position is the feelings. The feelings in the situations is there's a lack of support. Oh, yes, there's nothing to celebrate. Lack of support between the three, the two of them. There's not, they don't want to, he just doesn't want to create and expand with them. He wants to work alone. It seems like he just seems to want to work alone. He doesn't want to involve him and pull him in, is what that's saying. That's not good. Okay, the eighth position is the outside influences, and it's in reverse. We have here the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, I'd say with the outside influences, he's not really trusting him. He doesn't trust him. He's not feeling like he's not inspired to give it to him. Um, I think he feels that he will make bad decisions because this is a bad decision position. Untapped talent is the page of wands. Not quite there. You're not ready. So he thinks he's going to make bad decisions. He really thinks he's going to make bad decisions. The next card here is the ninth position. And that is the hopes and fears. And that the hopes and fears is the seven of cups. He know, the hope is he will have lots of choices, a lot to choose from, choose the right, make the right decisions, choose what cup is best for, for everyone. Um, and so he's probably feeling he might choose the wrong cup, I would say. Uh, and, that's all, and then maybe gaslight him because it's the gaslighting card. So he's hoping that he does make the right decisions in the future. So it's re really having all kinds of options here. Lots of options with the seven of cups. Uh, it's making realistic decisions and making sure that those decisions um, hold a lot of potential and they're realistic. He wants them to make sure that they're realistic, that they're doable, and that they're solid decisions. And what we have here is the final outcome. This is good. We have two of cups. So they will. They will get together. It will happen partnership there's balancing of the opposites they are different individuals they are not the same they have different mindsets but they will come together with this too which will be taking the first steps 
the first steps to do it will be happening. So it's going to happen, but they're just there's a little bit of a power struggle, I think. And I think Charles just wants to make sure he's in a he's in the position that he's ready. Uh, he definitely has his doubts with this page of wands in reverse and that he's going to make the right decisions and to wait on it and to keep waiting is sort of self-sabotage. And then we have here, you know, uh, you know, the cause and effect of, of this ace of pentacles of starting the situation could have a bad effect. So he's sort of holding back, making sure it's the right time. He's, he's, he's just doing it out of that. I don't think it's super dark or horrible. Um, I don't see Charles as a horrible person. I don't know why someone made a comment thinking I didn't think Charles was a kind man. I think Charles has lots of empathy and compassion. I could see it in his eyes too. I don't know why someone said they didn't think that I had it, but I could totally see the, um, see that in him, that there's a lot of kindness in his eyes. And I don't think it's for cruel reasons. I think he's just doing it with that King energy and King of Cups energy, making sure People are in their position at the right time and playing your cards right, playing your chess game right. And I don't think it's for dark reasons. I don't, I don't think it's for, you know, malicious reasons. Uh, and that's just kind of how that reads. So let's find out um, whether or not, let's see, what was my next question? I wanted to know, oh, is Charles gaining popularity by using his sword energy? You know, uh, he's making more decisions nowadays. He went along with, the meeting and making sure that Andrew got pulled. So now is his popularity rising? Uh, that was another question asked by a viewer. So let's find out. Is Charles popularity rising? What do I have here? I have here the Queen of Cups. So that's looking like very nurturing energy for starters. That's very nurturing. So they're seeing that he's nurturing the people. He's putting the people first. And that is a feminine energy of having love for people and uh, wearing it on your sleeve in a feminine way, in a very motherly, nurturing way. For start, second card I have here is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So he's doing it with nurturing, loving, and then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, which would could be Harry or could be his brother too. And that is the... The Knight of Swords is that detective, that person who's the player, the player, the narcissist. This is taking them out. And this is the, the card, the person that ruins everything that is built. And since it's in reverse, that is taking him out. So he did it with love. It's a loving, nurturing energy for the people to take out the players. And the players is his brother. So that is that. Taking out the players. Taking out the players and the family. Let's get in the center of the deck. The center of the deck here, we have the Hierophant. Yeah, duties, morals, obligation. It's his duty, moral, and obligation to do it. On the other center of the deck, I have here the world. They want things to spin in their favor. It's, it's looking after everybody. At the bottom of the deck, nine of cups. We got to make sure we maintain our emotional fulfillment. Uh, put our ego aside. Uh, we can be emotionally fulfilled, but it's going to take a balance there. And you can see she's meditating. She's very balanced. She's happy. She's feeling solid. There is growth. They want growth. They want to keep their emotions in balance. So this is for growth, for abundance. Um, and he did it. He did it because he had to do it because they are a public family. The world's watching them. Let's get some more on the situation. And and Charles' popularity, Charles' popularity. It's looking like the lovers. Yes, the lovers. So that's good. That's a good card for, for Charles. They are starting to like him more. Uh, they're far, starting to find more of a duality feeling for him. Some people are going to like him. Some people won't. Because with the lover card, some people can take him. Some people will leave him. But I would say with the lover's card, he's building more duality with people, more of a bonding with people because that's more bonding. And people are feeling more emotionally fulfilled. You know, he's making the right moral duties and decisions for the world, for the people, for the UK. Very positive energy and taking out the players. The players is William, the players, I'm um, excuse me, the players, not William, ah, the players is, we know, is, is, is Andrew and Harry. So, you know, that's who the sword's coming down on. 
not William. Yeah, don't take me on that one, you guys. So yeah, so there's lots of, it's positive energy here. Good energy, yay energy. And I'm happy for him because I think he has a lot of compassion. I don't think he's a dark person. And then we have here, the high priest, just, it, start, it did come out in reverse. He is going to have to keep some secrets back. He will hold back some secrets. He's not going to tell everything. He's not going to have diarrhea of the mouth like his, like his son, Harry. He's not going to do it. He's going to have to hold back, and he will hold back. Uh, because family problems are just that. Not everything is for public consumption. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.